Welcome back golfers. Today I'm out practicing my putting, something you guys should be doing at home um, to help with your, your game and to lower your scores. But there's two main keys that we need to know to make a lot of putts and we're going to talk about it today, so stay tuned. So golfers, we're going to talk today about the 18 inch rule and this goes for the two elements that we're going to be talking about today. And the two elements we're going to be talking about today are speed and direction. Those are the two elements we need to get right in order to make putts. But the first key we want to make sure we have is good speed in our putts. And good speed in our putts, meaning that we get the ball past the hole, but we want to get the ball past the hole at a certain amount. To practice this, we just need an alignment stick or a club or something that we can put down. Even a tee would be fine. But I'm gonna use an alignment stick today and I'm gonna put that alignment stick down 18 inches behind my intended path of my, of my putt. Just like that. So all that does is just give me something to focus on that I wanna roll my, my putts all the way to that stick. You know, if it comes up and bumps it, totally fine. If it comes up a touch short, totally fine. Is the main idea is we're trying to get putts to get past the hole and end up right around this region behind the hole. Because 18 inches, we can all handle an 18 inch putt. 18 inches is, gives us enough speed to get through the bumps. So most likely, unless you're the first one out, there's been a lot of footprints put down before you've been out here playing on the hole. And those foot footprints typically congregate more right into this section right through here, kind of like a donut around the, the hole. And gravity is one of those things that as the ball slows down, it's gonna find those little impressions. And the little impressions are gonna affect the, the roll of the ball and how it's going to go down your intended line. So if I hit a putt that's hole speed, meaning the ball would just fall into the hole, so it would have less speed when it's going through that section where a lot of the footprints have congregated. And because it has less speed, it's going to be affected more. So when we hit a putt, we want to maximize that speed through that area because the more speed it has the less it's going to be affected by the bumps but at the same time if you hit a putt just as hard as I just did right there and you miss it it's going to be six seven feet by and we don't want a six seven footer coming back because our odds of making are not very good but an 18 incher we can handle an 18 inch putt we make those probably 99 out of 100 times so 18 inches by will allow the putt to roll fast enough through that section of the green that it doesn't get affected by the bumps as much. It's gonna roll over and through it because it has enough weight to do it. And at the same time, that speed that you hit will still maximize the hole. You might not be able to make a putt on the edges, but you'll probably make it at least 75% of that hole. So it still maximizes that hole. So part two now, of making putts and we got to get this part right and that is direction you're going to read the green you're going to try to figure out how this putt breaks and once you figured out that putt and your intended line we need to be able to start our ball on that intended line so i put a tee out here just outside the hole so this is basically my intended line because this is a little bit of a right to left putt so for me to practice this what I'm gonna need is three tees. So I'm gonna grab two tees for where I'm setting up the golf ball so that makes sure I get a nice centered strike and it makes a consistent spot of where I'm putting from. And the other spot, I'm gonna put an alignment stick down and get my intended line perfectly. And then from that position I'm gonna put a tee at 18 inches past where that golf ball is so this is the spot I'm looking at because it's in my peripheral vision so when I'm standing over the putt I can see that 18 inch spot in front of me 
And this is something you can do when you're playing. You just pick a little spot, a little piece of grass that you picked out in front, um, and then just aim at that. It's something that you don't need a tee when you're actually playing. It's something that we can use consistently to get a good mental image of where we're supposed to start the putt. Okay, so now when you come into the putt, I want you to put your putter down and aim at that 18 inch tee. So now that we got it set at, eight, at the 18 inches, stand over it, look at that 18 inch spot, now look at the spot you're trying to putt to. For me it's that tee, if you find a straight putt it might be the hole. So ask yourself if you're looking at that tee and you're looking at that, that tee or the hole where you're trying to aim it, does your, do your eyes match up with those two spots? No. A great putter from, from his day that used a, a trick that works really well is Jack Nicholas. So if you're standing over this putt, put a foot in there and then just let your head kind of rock back and through. Look at that spot, look at where you're trying to go and try to find where that spot, the 18 inch tee is, and that spot out there just to the right of the hole, they match up. Because once they match up, that's kind of where your head needs to stay. So they go, okay, that spot looks great, and I'm gonna keep my head right there. I'm gonna step into it, head won't move, and then that looks good to my, for my vision, and then I can take a stroke, and then hopefully we make more putts because our vision is matching up with what our intended first initial line is and where we're trying to hit it outside the hole or wherever we're going to be aiming for break. So another couple things we can do to help really train our eyes to see the line better and using the method we did here, uh, I really suggest getting some of these little gates. I like this little three inch one, it gives you enough room to have some confidence, but basically you can take a gate and you can stick that gate or you can put a couple T's down right in front of that tee or on that tee so when you're standing over it if you hit that gate you know that your intended start line was a little off the other great tool you can use to really get a good long sense of direction is go to home depot or online and order a, a, a chalk line and then snap a chalk line at 10 feet and then you can work up and down of it you're not stuck in one spot I love using a chalk line to help train my eyes to see the putts better. And it really helps with confidence because if you can put a chalk line down on a straight putt and you can make you know, 40, or 40 to 50 putts straight, then you know when you get onto the, onto the golf course, you can, you can repeat that. You're like, I can make that. I can see the line really well in my head, imagine it, and then hit it. And you'll make putt more putts. So I'll leave a link on my website in the descriptions on how you can get either chalk line or the gate and implement that into your putting. So golfers, utilize these methods. Focus on your speed, 18 inch rule, past the hole, and focus on your initial direction off of your putt. Where do you want to start the putt? Make sure you got a spot out in front that you know you want to roll it over and just hit putts with confidence. And if you can get both of these down, your putting is gonna get so much better and you're gonna shoot lower scores. Golfers, if you got anything out of this video, think about hitting the like or that subscribe button, put out videos every month to help golfers get better at this game. And remember, if your feet aren't working, your swing's not working. Catch you guys next time.